Who are you? I already told you I don't want to be with you anymore. You, you. Hello world and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm reacting to Bidat and Muhammad and in today's video I think he will try to make her convert to Islam. I don't have any plans of converting. These couples, I swear this season is confusing me. I really miss the simple days of Usman and baby Lisa. Uh, Usman, why are you looking at the hookah? Usman, uh, I'll get you a goat, Usman. Uh, <laughs> cigarettes simple days argued about simple things now in this new season we have to hear about religion pretty much every couple bilal and shawarma muhammad and bidet and who else yeah pretty much every single couple let's get into it I like that music, very spooky, very fitting for Muhammad, literally walking zombie mode into that room. If you didn't, if you didn't tell me Muhammad was a human, if you told me that Muhammad is developed by Facebook to make a, ro a robotic human that blends in with society, nobody can figure it out. I would say Muhammad is the first prototype. My man has the voice of a robot, works like a robot. Uh, anyways. You go get more eggs. We're like, we only have two eggs left. Alright. And that includes Muhammad. It's a joke. Okay, too rude, too rude. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Violence. Muhammad and I got in an argument last night. My friends really pushed his buttons in regards to his religion and beliefs. I definitely felt upset and sad because I do feel some aspects of control and I kind of feel that Muhammad is used to the way people act towards women in his country. Well, he is used to the way people treat women in his country because he comes from that country. You are 48, you should know that before importing him pretty much. But at the same time, I definitely feel bad that Muhammad felt disrespected and uncomfortable. So I want no. to forget about yesterday. And Muhammad felt bad and uncomfortable because your friend asked him if he watches adult movies. So stupid. Just take a step back and have a nice morning together. Okay. Mm, that's hot. <clears throat> so I've never, I've never been to a mosque before. When we go there, I feel like I. I don't know what to expect. I definitely want to convey that I didn't mean to disrespect him. And I want to show him that I respect his beliefs. So I'm taking him to a nearby mosque since he hasn't been one since he entered the United States. When you, you are taking him to the mosque? Okay, whatever you do, don't have that triangle situation you had last episode I, I mean that's nice she's taking him to a mosque how cool is that okay Yvette okay you want my attention she got him a bidet she's taking him to the mosque I mean that's a Muslim starter pack I like it there you go and to cover your hair so had a frizz bag so <coughs> that's it I have to uh -huh. like wear a hijab yes I'm really very excited for going to this mosque I think by going to the mosque with me, Eve is going to see how beautiful this religion is. Well, you could show her without her going to the mosque. I mean, yes, it is beautiful. Yes, it works for some people. Yes, it's amazing. You can describe it however you want. But if you don't follow it, then it's not that amazing, is it? The thing with... I'm not speaking about any specific religion, but... Just for example, the law. Let's make it very broad. The law is very beautiful. Why? It protects us. I know I will go in the streets knowing that I will not get robbed because it's against the law. But every beautiful thing becomes less beautiful when people start breaking it. And then there is just chaos. Chaos, chaos, coyote. I don't care. There is just nobody follows anything and it just gets all so confusing. That's when I start taking a step back and I'm like... Mm. I feel like I'm a nun or something. Mm. And she's gonna understand why I got defensive about the conversation with her friends. 
And maybe she's gonna be interested to become a Muslim. Okay. Well, why does she put a hijab on literally from the house? She only needs it on to enter the mosque. So she can stay hijabless until she is at the mosque. And then she can put it on and walk in. You look nice in your scarf, babe. Thanks, but it's so hot. Makes you look nah, more beautiful. Nah, nah. I mean, she looks beautiful, yes, I'm not gonna judge another human being, but she doesn't look... Nah, nah, nah. Not to me, at least. I will be supportive in what Muhammad does in regards to his religion, but I don't feel comfortable wearing a hijab or covering my head because I, I never have before. I'm not a practicing Muslim, so I don't want to be wearing something that isn't true to form to me. Wait, are you confusing me as well? Are you not practicing Muslim or are you not Muslim at all? There's a difference. I am not a practicing Muslim because I don't go to the mosque. I don't... I, I'm very haram. Let's just leave it there. I'm a haram person. This is like a haram channel and... What do you want from me? But hey, at least I donate. Uh, why am I exposing myself in this video? This video is supposed to be about them, not me. Yeah, this is a mosque. <laughs> Probably looks different than yeah, the mosques we are used to, but... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, that's the mosque? It looks way different. It does not look like our mosques. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. My name is Rafay. My name is Muhammad. Muhammad, a pleasure. Welcome. My name is Eve. Assalamu alaikum, Eve. Nice to meet you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asiya. How are you guys today? Good. Yeah, great. MashaAllah. So we're going to make the prayer soon. Eve, would you like to pray with us? I can show you how. You can just follow me. Oh, okay. This is our ladies section. Muhammad, come on, I'll, I'll introduce you to everybody. This is very cute. I, I like this. Uh, this reminds me a lot of that one scene from Samit and Jenny. And Jenny went to the Krishna temple to see the how the traditions are done and stuff like that. And she was very open-minded. Although for the wrong reasons, she was very open-minded. And I like to see it. I like to see people exploring different people's religions. Even if you don't agree with it or you don't want to follow it, but at least try it. It's like food. You can't judge the food before you taste it. You can't judge this before you try it. And it's not like it's locked. Only Muslims can come in. Trust and believe if you have a mosque nearby, dress appropriately and Google wudu. And once that's done, you can enter. You can have a speak with the, with the imam. Everyone will be very, very welcoming. Just tell them I am interested in knowing more and knowledge is free and they will give you all the knowledge you want. That's how it works. So don't be too intimidated. It's not as hard as you think it is. I am definitely surprised by how the segregation of men and women was just right off the bat. Wudu is where we like wash ourselves for like cleanliness. So before we pray, we have to make wudu. Uh, now they're, they have to make it. Oh, look, we are so sexist. The segregation. I'm so sorry. I'll just say this. This is what I believe in. I really like it when gyms leave mosques out of the topic. I'll just speak about the gym. I like it when gyms are, are not mixed. I like it when men can work out alone and women can work out alone. Because you know why? I zone out a lot. I, sometimes I find myself doing this. And if an ass happens to be in my field of view it would look like i'm looking at that ass i am not and especially if you, like you see a woman walking and stuff like that and then you have to find the ceiling you count the tiles you count the dust the dust particles on everything it's very uncomfy to us because we feel a certain way we feel like we are making you uncomfortable so we get uncomfortable and nobody is comf comfy comfy at the end of the day so i like separate gyms because you get to be free and you're just wandering around you're just like not afraid to offend anybody especially here in morocco does that make sense i hope it makes sense that's just my personal point of view maybe you have a different one i think for Mohammed, maybe it makes him feel comfortable because that's what he's used to but it makes me feel very uncomfortable because i'm not used to that oh you don't have to take your oh. shoes on okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> 
I guess I need to leave those for somebody else, right? Yeah. Um, so it's my <laughs> deepest um, prayer that, inshallah, you become a Muslim one day. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. Islam is important to me because my life when I was a kid, my father was a religion man. We were going to the... Bless. I mean, Yvette, don't, if you go to a mosque, understand that that's a, that's a sacred place. It is something very special. Please don't be like... You know, don't half ass it. If you don't want to be there, don't be there. But if you are there, Treat it with the respect that it deserves. There ...to pray every single day. But my father passed away when I was 14. Oh, no. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Hmm. He got no. sick. He went to the hospital. <laughs> okay, don't cry, don't cry. I'm patting the screen on the back of the head. Don't cry, Muhammad. Don't cry, Muhammad. Everything will be okay. Everything will be fine. Allah Akbar. Oh, sit, sit your okay. ass now. So how is your relationship with Eve about Islam? Is she interested in... Eve, it's so simple. Why are you just... Like, this is what I meant. If you don't want to be there, don't be there. But if you are there, don't overdo it and make yourself look like a clown. It's so simple. Follow instructions. You don't have to use your brain. You literally have someone next to you doing it. I want to help her to study Islam because, you know, like, we had argument about clothes. Like, she's feeling like it's not fair for the women to be a love rules for them, and mm. men can't be like yeah. that. I think some of the challenges that Muhammad is going to come across here in this culture is definitely the kind mm -hmm. of more liberal attitudes. And so it's, it's really important that he finds Muslims here in Albuquerque uh, that, that he'll connect with. So... I'm looking forward to spending more time with him. Okay, but uh, like, um, my point is that's fine and all. That's for his sake. That's amazing. Good for Muhammad. He will find the circle that he can be. He will find his circle of Muslims that live in there. He can find a mosque. He can go to the mosque. But leave Yiv out of it. I think Yiv or Yvette or Bidat, whatever her name is. I saw the way she dresses. That's not very offensive. I would say that's more conservative than a lot of people from my own country so she dresses very nicely she is too respectful to him she tries to understand but i don't know maybe muhammad asked the imam if it's okay for you to be sleeping together while not married according to what the show told us <laughs> maybe that would be a more productive question but if you worry about what pe what people wear then trust and believe they will wear a certain thing in front of you and then they will take it off when you are not there to watch them. And I've seen that happen literally in front of my eyes. A girl, she came in the full, like fully dressed to this place, goes to the restroom, comes out and dressed. So control is not the solution. Educating is. Well, how is your visit going? That's good. Thank yeah. you. It's nice to learn and get a little more information. I think that the people at the mosque were very nice, and I'm glad that Muhammad will have a Muslim community here. But a part of me is worried that he'll expect me to convert to Islam. So then what I... Okay, yeah, well, from the way things are looking, he does expect you to convert. I mean, two years. Two years you spent together. Never, never ever did you think, hmm, let us discuss this religion thing. Let... It's as simple as asking Yvette, Yvette, do you want to convert? It's a yes or no question. And it's as simple as telling Muhammad, Muhammad, I do not want to convert. Do you still want to marry me? It's a yes or no question. Solves this problem. Oh my God, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> They're all very nice and welcoming. And who knows, maybe this is the first step for you to convert to Islam. <laughs> I don't have any plans of converting. 
I'm really disappointed that Eve doesn't want to convert to Islam. Well, you got your answer. You asked her a straight up question, she answered you with a straight up answer. If that's a deal breaker to you, then it is a deal breaker to you. I'm sorry, it happened. And this is not like one of those Rick Restores TV show. Oh, let me find a 48 years old crusty machine and restore it to make it however it fits. No, you found Yvette the way that, it, that she was and she still wants to remain that way, you either accept it or leave it. You can't choose. Women are not our project. Oh, let me get this project and turn it to however I want it to be. I'm sorry, that's not how it works. You could have found an American Muslim woman just like that guy from, uh, from Syria did. Uh, what's her name? I forgot their name, but I will throw a picture there. And look at him. He didn't have to go old and crusty. He literally married someone who is so young, beautiful, Muslim, they exist, you just have to find them. Don't go look for the easy way. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, my accent is getting thicker because I'm too frustrated. Peace.